I think that a lot of cinema lenses is used in Hollywood productions. Um, 40 millimeter is a standard focal length with them, not as so much as 35. And you find that in a lot of movies, for example, 1917 by Roger Dickens. Is it 1917 or 1972? And you find that in a lot of Hollywood movies, 40 millimeter has been used a lot. One of the first reasons why this focal length sort of makes sense is because this approximates the exact, okay, maybe not exact. It approximates the field of view of the human eye, giving this footage a natural and unobtrusive feel. So basically what this means is that if you were a camera and you were to put a lens on you, this 40 would be the closest thing. Well, technically you do have a lens, which is your eyes. So this is basically your eyes if you were the camera. This is the focal length that you see, which is great because it sort of makes it feel realistic. Another reason why this focal length is good is because it allows the viewer to feel as if they are in the scene themselves. It makes more feel like an immersive viewing experience because you basically see this the way your eye would see everything. So you are more familiar, which is an interesting thing because this, um, I think this is my first time actually filming on a 40 millimeter and I definitely could see how um, immersive or how true to life um, this focal length makes your videos look um, when you're filming in that. Another reason why you might want to consider a 40 is because it gives you less distortion than wide angle lenses, than wider angle lenses actually. Um, which in a way, unless you're going for like a creative look, it can make your videos look more polished and more stylish or more professional, not stylistic. Um, more professional, I would say, because it's, once again, it goes back to the point of this is how we truly see images. So when you have this, you don't get those barrel distortions. And for people who don't know, barrel distortion is when, for example, if you're looking at my face, you can see everything. You can see my ears, you can see my head. Nothing is squished, nothing is mushy. If there was supposed to be barrel distortion, let's say I was filming this at maybe a 25, for example, you would see that my face would be weird. My ears would probably be locked in. If I went to like a 16, for example, my ears would be locked in because there would be like a, it would be like squeezing my face um, through, what? What am I squeezing my face through? through something, a pin, a needle, a straw, basically, fill my face through a straw. And that's not what we're going for. With the 40, you don't get that because this is true to life, people. I'm telling you on everything. Now, another reason why you should probably pick up this focal length is, for example, if you do a lot of documentaries and you do through the life things, you want people to feel immersed in your films, this gives you that. This makes it a great, especially for documentaries. I film documentaries, I film commercials, I film interviews. I want people to feel like they're watching the person live and having a conversation with them. And this focal length just gives me that. Now, not to say that you cannot get away with a 35 or a 50, but the 40 just sits right in between that. And you can sort of get away with a 35. Um, if you need a 35, if you need it to be wider than that, you can just sort of move back. I mean, considering you still have the space to move back. Um, and if you want it to go tighter, you can just go in tighter. And on the a7 IV, for example, with the Super 35 mode, this thing just takes it to like um, a 40 to uh, maybe like an 85. So like I really get a lot of character um, just using this one lens. I mean, can this be like your go-to lens for everything? If I had to take just one lens, will I just take this DZO Prime? <sighs> I mean, I really don't know, but I think it does give me a good point to work with and if you haven't seen my video where i just go about um filming things in the street of shanghai you can watch this video over somewhere here here or here whatever i think that this lens is great at this focal length and dizio has just done a good job for making this affordable at this price now in terms of character that's a whole different conversation because i test this out with against my clinically reliable clean sigma 24 to 70 that video is going to come up right next after this one peace